Hey what is going on everyone this is I Reviews back with another video and today I have another 10 new tweaks these are all tweaks that have recently been released on Cydia so go ahead and check them out I hope you guys enjoy them. Shield 11 this is a tweak that allows you to protect your apps or your folders using your face ID or touch ID whichever one you have on your device so you can see right here if I want to open the calculator app First of all, it will scan my face and then it will open it. You can see the same here with the folder. Let's go to the settings of this tweak. Here you can enable the dark mode. You can enable the tweak right here and you can enable it for folders. And then going ahead and locking any of your apps. It's very easy. Just go here and just enable any app that you want and whichever app you enable, that app will be protected using your face ID or touch ID. Time to unlock is a pretty cool tweak that allows you to set the current time as the passcode of your device. So the coolest thing about this tweak is that you can still use the real passcode that you have set through the settings of your device. You can still use that or use the current time as the passcode of your device. Here if I go to the lock screen of my device I want to unlock you can see right here I can go ahead and just use the current time as the passcode of my device or if I want to I can still unlock my device using the passcode that I have set through the settings. Going to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button then here you can enable allow real passcode unlock and then right here you have two last digits so if you're using a six figure passcode then is the time plus these two figures that you set right here. By default there are two zeros, you can change that to any figure that you want. Shooter Sound Switch is a tweak that allows you to choose what happens when you take a screenshot on your device. For example here I have enabled silent shooter sound so it will silent the screenshot sound. Also you can enable screenshot right here, you can enable shot flash or share mode whichever you want to see when you take a screenshot as well here you can use a custom album where you can save your screenshots so you can see right here if I take a screenshot on my device the, a, there will be just a slight flash nothing else no sound no share mode just a flash and no sound it's pretty awesome no slow animations 11 will make the animations of iOS faster you can see right here opening and closing a folder the animations are way faster or for example if I go to the 3D touch menu you can see here how fast the animation is. Also opening the control center so basically all the animations of iOS will be faster. Under settings you have an enable button right here. You have this slider where you can set the speed of the animation so the left, the left side here is faster the right one is slower. And then of course respring your device for the changes to take effect. Quotifications is a fun tweak. What it does is that it will replace the no recent notifications text right here on the notification center with like a quote from the internet. So it's pretty awesome. Every time you come here, you will see a different quote. So it's really, really cool. Going to the settings of this tweak, you can enable save for no internet. So it saves quotes when there is no internet on your device, allow movie quotes. You can set here a custom one if you want to. And then you have the color settings right here and the gesture options here, double tap for a new quote or long press to speak quote. Bounce it is a new tweak that will add some awesome animations like bouncing animations when you open and close apps, the app switcher or when you open folders you can see that little nice animation right there it's pretty awesome and when you open an app you can see you have that animation when you open apps go out of apps folders or even the app switcher. MI device is a new tweak which is very powerful. I also did a dedicated video on this one. If you want to take a closer look at it, you can take a look at that video. So basically it's just like a spring to alternative for iOS 11.3.1 and iOS 11.4 as well. So you enable a tweak right here and you have all these sections of your device which you can customize using this tweak. For example, here we have the control center, you can hide the chevron and also you can colorize the modules on the control center. So you can see right here, all these from alerts, app switcher, dock, folders, icons, lock screen, everything can be customized using MI device. Label hider is a tweak that allows you to hide the labels of the icons on the home screen. You can as well hide the labels on the folders as well as on spotlight search. So if you go to the settings of this tweak here you can choose hide in home screen folders or in spotlight. 
and you also have folder settings right here hidden on home screen hidden in folders these are for the labels of the folders haptic passcode is a simple tweak for the lock screen what it does is that it gives you a haptic feedback while you're entering the passcode on your device so it's as simple as that all it does adds a haptic feedback on the passcode buttons no older notifications gone this is a simple tweak for the notification center all it does is that it will completely remove the no older notifications text that you get right here on the notification center just remove it and have a nice clean looking notification center